Hey, 2024. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Down below, that's how you do it. Today, we're going to talk about a piece of equipment that I've had for a long time, maybe a year, from Softing. The Link Expert M3. Oh, I forgot to take the Wi-Fi dongle out of here. My bad. That's another video. <clears throat> this tool is very underrated and underestimated of what it can do. I'm going to go over lots of that in a couple of videos, but today the boys over at Softening said, hey, you've been doing some fiber stuff and uh, we're going to send you something over to play with. I'm going to show you what it looks like with a tool that shows you how contaminated a piece of fiber will be coming from the factory or just being in your tool bag or forgetting to put the cap on the end so it stays clean. The boy sent me the fiber microscope. An expensive tool made it to a affordable tool that can do a lot. I'm going to show you how the tool will show you stuff. I'm also going to show you what it looks like when it's dirty and not dirty by using this to clean it. Let's jump in after you like and subscribe, of course, please. We have our Softing M3 Link Expert. We have a piece of uncleaned contaminated fiber with no ends that's been ripping around in my tool bag for the last couple months for this exact purpose. And we have the scope that goes with the M3, an accessory that doesn't come with it. On the scope, we have a barrel and inside here there's a camera. This barrel right here comes off so we can change the tips so we can check other types of fiber. I've taken this off. We can put in SC fiber to the tip of this, but right now we have a piece of LC fiber so we need this on here. This is your adjustment for clarity on the um, scope so you can zoom in, or not zoom in, but focus. So this is a focus ring. This right here is to zoom in and zoom out. I think it's like a double X on there. Same thing on the other side, same button, depending on how you're holding it. The only thing different on this side is that this button right here takes a photo. You could also take a photo on the unit itself, but it depends on how you're holding it. Standard USB port. It plugs into the side of the M3, plus it's powered by the M3. So we'll go like this. Plug it in. We have our dirty fiber. I have a basic LC cleaner that cleans the tips of these. So we'll have a quick look at this here. So we'll go into our functions. So we'll go tools, fiber optic, microscope. It is on. So let's put this in here. You guys probably can't see it, but there's a little blue light. Oh, maybe you can, it's there. And put that in there. And we can see that we have a very dirty piece of fiber. I'll try to zoom in here. I'm going to put this box on here so you guys can see this here. Let's see if this works. Sorry for the glare. But as you can see, we have a dirty piece of fiber right there. We could take a picture of this dirty piece of fiber by going like this on our unit over here. I'll put that in the window. See if I could do this. And you'll see capturing image. It is captured. So now what we want to do is save it. So we put save. We'll name it and we'll call it dirty one and we'll save it. We'll do it as a single report. We'll end. Then we'll clear the result. Then what we'll do is we'll take this trusty tool here. We'll take the end of this. We'll put it on here like this. I'll give it three clicks. Then we'll put it back into here. And as you can see, maybe, hopefully, it's way cleaner. So what else do we do? 
take a photo. And we'll call it clean one, because I've already had a couple of one here. And we'll go, oh, clean one. And we'll save it, a single, and then we'll export it. And it's done. You can also zoom in by clicking on this. Watch. Zoom in, zoom out, and we have a focus ring. So if we unfocus it, it's blurry. We want to try to get this closest to 100%. I've never got it to perfect 100%, but I got it to about 98. So I'll go like this slowly. As you can tell, I'm slowly moving. You can see the bar going up there. Okay. Small little increments. And we got it to almost 100%. Woohoo! But it all depends because you're also holding it and, and moving it around. So I'm just holding on to it with my finger here. Okay. We can take a photo by clicking on this. And it'll capture the image. Same thing as doing it on the microscope end there. And we've captured an image. You also notice in the top here, probably won't see it, but I'll put a screenshot uh, for you guys to see that it's passed. To transfer these to a USB stick, we have to undo our cable. Take this away. Exit out of the app. We'll go back to here. Okay, so now we want to copy them to a USB stick. This is a 32 gig FAT32 formatted stick. So we put this into here, to the stick, or into the side of the uh, M3. We go up the top here, we'll see that there's a icon there. Let's see if I can grab. I don't have a pointy stick, but at the top there's a USB stick icon there. So then what we do is we go to our folder axis. And then we pick our two, let's go back to here, folder access. And then we pick our clean one and dirty one photos that we just made. They're actually PDFs. And we copy them to our USB stick by clicking here. And then what we do is we go external directory, copy. And it copies them down over there too for it. Now that we've used the scope to identify a dirty, contaminated cable and cleaned it, I want to show you what it looks like after we've re uh, created the report. Now, if we look at this report, we see our dirty and we have contamination in different zones, A, B, C, and D. Blue is acceptable contamination. Red is unacceptable. So if we look here, we have some big chunks of red stuff not good the yellow are scratches and if you have a scratch or a pit on one of your fibers i'd suggest changing it because you don't want that it'll reflect light and not uh, have some good readings and it'll cause you issues cables are cheap enough nowadays just replace it or re-terminate it over here on the side we have the clean this is what it looks like and what should look like once you've done cleaning the cable and with our human eyes, we can't see if it's dirty or clean unless we use a fiber microscope. Now there's different scopes you can buy that are very, very expensive. But if you have one of these and this, you'll be successful. Just so you know, this doesn't just do a microscope. It's not just that, it does a lot of things. But today I'm just showing you what the two of them paired together in your bag will do for you. The next picture is a picture of the zones. Single mode fiber, we have A, B, C, and D. A being the core zone. Notice how it's smaller compared to the multi-mode. Multi-mode's got a bigger zone or a bigger um, core. The next one will be cladding zone, which is B, we can see in here. And C would be the adhesive epoxy zone. And then D, the contact furl zone. Feral, furl? Yeah, furl. I'll call it that until I learn it's to be the proper zone. These are the acceptable zones that we can have contamination into uh, and where contamination will be. That's my little video on how to use the scope. I'm hoping to do a video soon on the said Wi-Fi dongle for this tool. 
stay tuned because it will be good. By playing with it, learning it, reached out to Mr. Tom there to say, hey, can you give me some hints and tricks for this so I can accurately tell people also other things that I might not have uh, grasped on? And uh, we'll go from there. So you have a great day. Uh, 2024 is hoping to be a good year for me. I'm hoping to ramp up my videos and uh, do more questions and stuff like that for people and maybe some newer products. Hopefully. Like and subscribe, please. And uh, have a good day. Peace.